we're going to explain how to downgrade your Sonos S2 system back to S1. This process isn't officially supported by Sonos, so proceed with caution. A successful downgrade means losing access to newer features and updates, but it might be necessary if you have older devices incompatible with S2. Here's what you need to do. 1. Back up your Sonos system. Before starting, back up your Sonos settings and playlists. While a full system backup isn't directly offered for a downgrade process, you can manually note down your preferred music services, playlists, and speaker groupings. This will help you restore your settings after the downgrade. 2. Identify incompatible devices. Determine which Sonos devices in your system are incompatible with Sonos S2. This is crucial. Only downgrade if you have at least one device that can't be updated to S2. 3. Find an older S1 controller app. Download the older Sonos S1 controller app for your smartphone or computer. It might be difficult to find depending on your operating system, so you may need to search through older App Store archives or other websites offering older app versions. Ensure that you download from a reputable source to avoid malware. There's a risk of malware, so double check the origin of the app before downloading. 4. Remove S2 app and accounts. Uninstall the current Sonos S2 app from all your devices. Then, log out of the S2 system and delete the account from the Sonos website. This prevents any conflicts during the downgrade process. 5. Install the S1 controller app. Install the downloaded S1 controller app you secured in step 3 on your device. 6. Reconnect your system. Open the S1 controller app. It should detect your Sonos devices. It may take time, and you might need to follow the app's on-screen instructions to reconnect each device. You might need to perform a factory reset on some devices, which means you lose all settings on that individual device and will have to set it up again. 7. Test your system. After reconnecting, verify that all your Sonos devices are working correctly under the S1 system. Ensure that music plays and all settings are functioning. 8. Important considerations. Remember, once downgraded, you cannot upgrade back to S2. You'll miss out on future software updates and new features. It's critical to weigh the pros and cons of this approach. The process is unreliable because Sonos has made it difficult to revert back to the older system. The lack of official support means there's no guarantee that every device will work as expected. The process might not be simple, and this depends on many factors. Therefore, do your own thorough research before you undertake the process. Sonos will not be able to assist you with any issues related to